Appointment setting versus remote closing. Which one should you pick? Let's cover it in this video once and for all. Very quickly, my name is Frank Koma. I own a business called Appointment Masters and I scaled it from zero to 50K a month, purely off the back of knowing how to set appointments and knowing how to close appointments. With this company, I help people learn the skill of appointment setting. And in this video, I wanna explain the two routes that you can take either the route of appointment setting or the route of closing based on the experience that you might already have and based on the personality type that you need to be for these two roles. So if you stick around until the end of the video, you know exactly what you should do and which of the two is best for you. So without further ado, let's jump in the laptop and then I'm gonna explain everything. All right, appointment setting versus remote closing. Which one should you pick and what is the best way to go based on your experience and the person that you are? In this video, we're gonna cover all of it. But first of all, to show you a bit of proof that I do actually know how to make money, this is my Stripe account of the business that I run. We made a cute 350 euros today, so that's really nice. Um, and this month, it is now the 18th of August, we made 31,672, I think in dollars that is 33, 34. Um, and then during this year, we almost made 300,000 euros and it's all from the back of knowing appointment setting and knowing how to close because my belief is that if you know how to set appointments and how to close appointments in the future you can start any business that you want so where should you start so in this video i want to discuss the sales process of what appointment setting is and what closing is uh, go a bit more in depth on appointment setting more in depth on closing and specifically where to start so let's start with the sales process because there are multiple ways for online coaches to get clients. But the one that we see that works best is the social media funnel. This is a funnel where an online coach posts a lot of content on either LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook to build their credibility and they redirect all the followers that they get into the DMs to book them into sales calls. So how does that look specifically? This is my Instagram account where we, I create a lot of content and post a lot of content, either motivational, educational or inspirational to build a lot of followers. And then all these followers get sent to the chats, so to the DMs. And then from the DMs, we book them into sales calls. And that is what we see for online coaches at this moment is working extremely, extremely well. So there's an ad. There's an Instagram page, we DM them, then we get them on the call, then we close them, and then we fulfill the product. The only problem is that me as the business owner is that I'm too busy running the business. So I need help with booking appointments and closing appointments because I cannot physically do everything at the same time. Like it's too busy in the DMs. It takes two, four, sometimes six hours a day to do that. Then I have six sales calls a day, what takes six hours. There's no time. So what we do as business owners is we find trained people, trained and qualified people to do that for us on a commission basis. So they have to perform, otherwise they don't get paid. But that also means that if you perform really good, you get paid a lot of money. So this is where you can come into play because these business owners, and I primarily focus on the online coaching market because the whole online coaching market is booming because nobody believes university anymore. We need help from people with handling all the DMs and taking all the sales calls. And which one of the two you should focus on is absolutely based on your experience. So let's discuss appointment setting first because as an appointment setter, what you do is you handle the social media DMs of online coaches. You can work for marketing agencies, but I rarely see marketing agencies um, successful with an appointment setter. Like I don't place people at marketing agencies. I place people at online coaches because your chance as an appointment setter working for an online coach is just way, way higher to be successful. So your goal is to turn all these conversations, all these new followers that we get, all the people that comment, like, they DM us like directly, like as an inbound leads, every single one of these per people, they need to be followed up with. They need to be have a conversation with because 
conversions happen in conversations. So what you do as an appointment setter is you turn them into book calls. And when the appointment that you booked turns into a sale, you will receive a commission. Because simply put, without you sending the messages, the sale, it would have never happened. It would simply have never happened because I don't have the time to do it myself, but I need it to be done. So I'm happily, I'm very happy to give like a 5 to 10% commission to a person who wants to do that. So what you do as an appointment setter, you are in the back end. You don't have to show your face. You are just there on the Instagram account, basically pretending to be me. And you follow a very specific and proven framework to get inbound leads, like you saw that we get on a daily basis, onto the calendar. And you just need to hit your daily KPIs every single day. So a certain amount calls booked, certain amount outbound, certain amount inbound, certain amount follow-ups every single day and then your job is done. So this role is ideal for people with no sales experience, but want to get into the online world. So it's amazing for people that can use this as a first stepping stone to get into the online world. And if you have no experience, I would highly suggest starting at appointment setting because you don't have to show your face. You learn a lot about the sales process because the way we structure the chat is kind of similar as how you structure the sales call. Like it's a difference, but like it's kind of the same. So you start to learn a bit more about sales, about objection handling, about talking to customers, about getting to know their uh, desired outcome, their current situation, everything that you need to know in order to then transition into closing will be handled as an appointment setter. So the pros as an appointment setter is you have an earning potential of anywhere from 3 to 8k. You can do this literally for anywhere in the world because you just need your phone or your laptop. I'm from the laptop generation, so I do it for my laptop. And the beautiful thing is, and that's why I like sales in general, and that's why I hate a 9 to 5, the better you get at this, the better you get at sales, the better you get at appointment setting, the more money you make. Because if you can turn more chats into more calls, you make more money. If you work in, I worked in a restaurant. If I can cut a tomato quicker per hour, I get more tomatoes to cut per hour, but I get paid the same. It's a world of a difference. So yes, it is commission basis, but the commission basis makes it better because the better that you get, the more money that you make. So if you follow proven frameworks and you are trained, then it's literally printing money because you just need a flow of inbound leads and you know that it works. Also pros of an appointment setter is in my opinion, hitting your KPIs is a bit easier than with closing. And it's amazing for people with no experience. If you are new to this online world and you have a goal to eventually start your own company, if it's a coaching company, it's a coaching company. If it's another service business, another service business. The foundation of every business is booking appointments. Because if you don't book appointments, you can't have the sales call. If you can't have the sales call, there will no money is going to be made. And if there's no money made, it's a hobby, it's not a business. So the foundation of every business is appointment setting. So I personally believe it's a really, really important skill to start in the online world, but also to then transition further into the online world. And what I see naturally, like I train appointment setters on a daily basis. What I see that naturally, this is a lot for introverted people who don't want to get on sales calls and are happy to be in the back end. Personally, like I take sales calls for my company, but it's not something that I really enjoy. Like I have to drink a lot of coffee to get on a sales call. And that is not because I don't like people it's because talking to people drains my energy because I am naturally introverted it drains my energy I have to get hyped up I have to drink a lot of coffee so I don't really enjoy doing that I enjoy talking to people but it drains my energy so it's really good for people that are introverted there are also cons of being an appointment setter uh, where the pro of 3 to 8k is a pro but if you want to make more money then it's becoming a con because three to eight K like especially the eight K it is 
you have to be a really, really good appointment setter and work really, really hard to go over it. And that is not something to worry about because a lot of people that I help, for example, they just want to replace their income that they make in the 95 and then they want to spend more time with the family or do other things like travel. What works as an appointment setter? But if you want to make more money, then you can start as an appointment setter. But then after a while, you have to transition into closing because the earning potential with closing is just higher. Another con that we see a lot with people is that some coaches that you work for, and this is also why I don't like work, working for marketing agencies because they don't know how to do this at all and they sell it. So stupid to work for those people is some coaches don't know how to get inbound leads and then they require you to do a lot of outbound and then they want an appointment setter that does only outbound. And that is something that we don't place, like we don't place people that primarily want outbound setters because making outbound work, it works, everything works, but it is just really hard. Like we want to work with coaches that have inbound leads. We want to place setters at coaches that have inbound leads because then it's easier for everybody. It's scaling a coaching business with inbound leads is the easiest thing that you can do. And then it's just an easy one too. Another con as an appointment setter is that the competition is higher than with remote closing because it's easier. You can do it from basically anywhere. Um, so the skill required, like on a closing call, you really have to talk. The skill required to do appointment setting is a little less high. All in all, I love appointment setting. I'm biased. I help people. That's me. Let me be the first one to say it. But it is a really great skill to have if you want to start a business in the near future or later down the line to at least know, okay, how do I get customers on the call? So once you know how to get them on the call, you need to close them. And to close them, what we do is what we use is remote closures. So just like your parents bought a car and there's a slick guy selling you a car to tell you it has four wheels and an engine okay sold this is not the same this is literally not the same because these people that we help that come on a call they have a genuine problem uh, it's either their health their wealth their relationships uh, they want to improve something in their life so as a closure what you do is you yes you go for the sale but you go for the sale with the intention of getting on the call and then really wanting to help that person. And sometimes not selling that person is the best thing that you can do. Like we sometimes turn down people and then I'm like, ah, we could have sold them so easily, but it's just not a right fit. And you need to be a bit ethical about this because once you know how to close, like it becomes like a Jedi mind trick and um, it's fun. Like you, you can use your words to make something happen, um, but you have to be careful with how you use it because it's the internet. People are skeptical about the internet and you need to be careful with that. That's the first thing that I want to say before I start. But your goal as a remote closer is that you handle the sales calls that are being booked by the appointment setter. So your goal is to eventually turn all these calls into closed deals. So you get on the call and you make people take out the credit card, you make them use the credit card and then boom, you have done your job. And when you have done your job, of course, you get a commission. This is a bit of a higher commission than with setters where closing is 10% and above, depending on what you um, negotiate with the person that you work for. And you get a commission because simply put, me as the business owner, I'm too busy again to do all the calls myself. So without you speaking words into existence and handling the objections, the sale would have never happened. If the sale would have never happened, I wouldn't have received the money. So I'm happy, I'm happy to give somebody 10% of the sale if they close the deal. So you train as a closer on having these conversations every single day. But the main reason why you need to train as a remote closer is to handle objections. Because handling objections is scary because you have to have, you need to be able to ask the hard question, okay? How much money do you have in the bank? How much cash do you have on hand right now? You need to get comfortable with asking the hard questions. And I didn't like that in the beginning, but I realized, okay, if I don't do that, then you don't make as much money. Because there's a difference between salespeople and closers. Because 
as you can see right here, salespeople, they get cash from people who basically already decided. And for a really long time, I was this. But a closer is able to turn a no into a yes, to turn an I have to talk about it with my wife into, okay, let's do it now. Because your wife is not going to help you make the decision. You are making the decision. You need to be able to turn an I need to think about it into, okay, let's do it now. I've thought about it. This takes a lot of practice. This takes a lot, a lot, a lot of training. And it also, it's hard. Like in the beginning, it's really, really hard because these conversations are awkward. They're really awkward in the beginning. Like when you have no experience, then you, are you okay with uh, talking uh, open and transparent about your finances? And they're like, no, I don't want to talk about my finance with you because your tone is off. You're not serious. Like you don't sound serious. You don't sound like a real closer. So the role of closing Yes, you can make a lot more money, but you have to be you have to be trained. You really have to be trained. You cannot get into an account without training, take calls and then okay, good luck. You need to be trained. Like the whole discovery side is the same as with appointment setting. That's why I say okay, in appointment setting, you can you learn how these questions lead up to something that you need. So that part is the same. But then the pitching and then handling the objections, that is a whole different ball game. So if you have experience already in sales, I would suggest going into a closer role. If it is your first time ever getting into something like the whole online world, the high ticket space, start with appointment setting because it is easier to get your basically your feet wet and you can learn it quicker. Where with remote closing, like it's really nice, but you need to be able to take these conversations. You need to be able to Practice them every single day. Objection after objection after objection. You need to have a body where you train with. And that just takes a bit more time. So yeah, you also, it's ideal for people who have rhino skin because you get your teeth kicked in every single time. Uh, and it's a cruel world where you either perform or you are out. That is a culture that I like personally. Like, okay, you have to perform. Otherwise, you're going to get, you're going to get fired. So if you don't perform for two weeks, you're going to get half the agenda. If you then don't perform for another two weeks, you're out because it is assassins only in that world. So you got to love that game and you got to be able to handle that. So the pros is the earning potential is just way higher. You can make anywhere from 5 to 20k plus, but it's basically uncapped depending on the offer that you work uh, for. You can do this again from anywhere in the world. But what I see with remote closing is that time zone is a bit more important because uh, we primarily help people from the US and the UK and we need people that work in that time zone. If you work all the way in Australia, we don't have as many people from Australia. So that's going to be a bit harder if you are there. Um, again, the better you get, the more you earn, the more you train, the more that you earn. And a lot of people are scared for the commission only jobs, but the commission only jobs like high risk, high reward. If you stay in your 95, you get paid the same amount of money every single month for the same work that you do, no matter if you get better or not, then you get a 5% increase because of inflation and then inflation ruins everything. And then what do you get? Nothing. You're basically paying them to work. So I personally love commission only jobs. Um, the thrill of having a new sale, like getting people to get out the credit card, turning the no into yes, like the, the, the feeling that you get, like is insane. It is uh, addicting. Let me say it's really, really, really addicting. Um, but after a while, not going to lie, also gets boring. And then it, it becomes you versus you. Okay, can I really help this person or not? It's good for extroverted people who want to talk to five, six different people on a daily basis, have the same conversation every single time because it does get a bit repetitive. You have the same conversations every single time. You use the same tonality every single time. You use the same joke every single time. And you need to get comfortable with doing the boring work because in the boring work, that's where the money is made. But if you're looking for something that is more all over the place, then appointment setting and closing is just in general not for you. Like. You have to get comfortable with doing the same thing every single day, get better, 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 better at your craft, and then you will become a true assassin. So the cons is you need experience and a lot of it. So you need a lot of training. 
uh, if you don't perform for two weeks, you are probably going to get fired. So it's a high pressure job. You need to be able to handle that. Uh, it becomes repetitive and you need to get comfortable with that, like I just said. And it's easier to screw things up because I once made a joke and the person didn't like the joke and got off the call. So, okay, that's a joke I'm never going to make again, but that's 3000 euros gone or $3,000. So it's easier to mess it up because you need to be sharp. You need to be on the spot. In general, I love closing. Like it's really a great skill to have. Like I'm happy I finally got it. I'm not the best at it yet, but I'm really happy that I know how to turn a yes into a no. So where do you start? So sales in general, like getting into sales, like for me, it was the best decision of my life because you know how to set appointments, you know how to close appointments, and then you can basically start any business that you want. If I want to start a roofing company, I know exactly what to do. I don't want to start a roofing company, but if I ever have to, I know what to do. I know how to set an appointment or close an appointment. don't know how to make a roof, but we will find other people to make a roof. So I personally started with learning appointment setting first uh, because I'm more of an introverted person, but also for the reason that I knew, okay, I want to start my own coaching business sometime. I want to have the big business. I want to manage the team. Knowing how to set an appointment is the foundation. It's simply the foundation because if you don't have an appointment, you cannot close them. So in order to build a company, you need to know everything. So my thought process is simple. If I learn how to set appointment first, then learn how to close appointments, see how the people that I work for market themselves and get their name out there so the leads come to them, then I literally know everything that I need to know. And that is the exact route that I took, exact route how I now made almost 300,000 in eight months. And that is the route that I'm really happy with that I took. I would suggest it to other people uh, to do the same, but of course, that is up to you. Because... Again, I know the two most important things, getting appointments, turning appointments into cash. So personally, if I had to do it all over again, I would start again with appointment setting because it's the first stepping stone for a noob like me that got me into the online world. Uh, then I started learning how to do the closing calls. Then I saw how people market themselves. And then I knew everything that I needed to know to start my own coaching business. So I do help people with learning the skill of appointment setting. And if you want to start your journey together with me, all possible, all good. There's a link down in the description where you can book a call with my team. Then we can see if this is a good fit for you at all. If it is, I'm extremely happy. If it isn't, I'm still extremely happy. Uh, we have helped over 138 students now learn the skill of appointment setting. And we guarantee a placement with an online coach that has inbound leads. Some of them went on to become a closer. Some of them went on and started their own coaching business. It is the best stepping stone for people who want to get into the online world. If you have no experience yet, but you want to earn more to provide for your family or to travel the world, either way, fine by me. This is the stepping stone that you need to take. After that, I would suggest learning how to close and then you are an absolute assassin and you can do anything in the world that you want because you know the two most important skills. If that sounds interesting to you at all, there's a link in the description where you can book a call. And otherwise, I will hope that you click on the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.